This figure depicts the variation of vapor pressure of the pure solvent and solution as a function of temperature. Temperature ke against vapor pressure, pure solvent ka aur solution ka kis prakar se badalta hai, wo is chitra mein diya hua hai, is diagram mein diya hua hai. Aur hum dekh rahe hai, ke orange line, to solvent ka vapor pressure badata hai, aur jabki blue line, solution ka vapor pressure badata hai. Dono mein fark hai, and the temperature, the same vapor pressure is represented at different temperature at temperature Tb and T-B. Therefore, Tb T-B minus Tb, we call it as delta Tb, change in temperature, boiling point. And therefore, delta, this represents delta Tb here. The vapor pressure curve for solution lies below the curve for pure water. Vapor pressure curve, solution ka, agar ye water hai solvent, so solution ka vapor pressure niche ki or hai. The diagram shows delta Tb, which denotes the elevation of boiling point of the solvent in solution. Solution may solvent ka boiling point kitna bad gaya, wo is se pata lagta hai. For example, the vapor pressure of an aqueous solution of sucrose is less than 1.013 bar at 373.15 K. In order to make this solution boil, its vapor pressure must be increased to 1.013 bar by raising the temperature above the boiling temperature of pure solvent. Ab temperature bahana padega tab itna vapor pressure milega. Amko malum hai koi liquid tabhi boil hota hai jab iska vapor pressure atmospheric pressure se thoda sa jyada ho jaye ya usse barabar ho jaye thus the boiling point of a solution always higher than that of the boiling point of the pure solvent in which solution is prepared as shown in that figure similar to lowering in vapor pressure the elevation in boiling point also depends upon the number of solute particles rather than their nature ab ye to hum padhi chuke hain this is a colligative property and it depends it depends upon the number of solute particle irrespective of what is the molecular structure of the solute particle it may be any solute particle it may be a covalent particle it may be a ionic particle or whatever it is experiments have shown that for dilute solutions the elevation of boiling point delta tb is directly proportional to the molal concentration of the solute in solution. Ab ye molal concentration kis prakar se nikala jayega? Iska ek expression hum ab uh, evolve karenge, nikalenge. Dekhiye hum kis prakar se uska solution ka hum expression bana rahe hain uh, boiling point se aur usse hum solute ka molecular weight bhi nikal sakte hain. Now, just as we have calculated and determined an experiment, uh, uh, an expression, for lowering of vapor pressure, depression in freezing point. Now we are going to evolve an ex expression for elevation in boiling point. Boiling point is becomes greater, more, higher. It gets elevated when a solution is prepared. So just as for freezing point, we write delta T F. For boiling point, we write delta T B. B means the boiling point. And mind it, T is capital letter. Capital letter means it is in Kelvin. Temperature in Kelvin. Delta T B is equal to T B minus T B naught. Here, you have to take care that the vapor, that the boiling point of solution is greater than the boiling point of the solvent. Tb0 represents the boiling point of the solvent and therefore it is subtracted from the boiling point of the solution. Tb is the boiling point of the solution. So delta Tb is found out to be proportional 
to the molality of the solution m m means molality molality of the solution this we have found out in uh, de during derivation of uh, uh, depression in freezing point delta tv is equal to put up a constant which is represented as capital letter k b b means boiling point and this constant has been given its own name it is known as abelioscopic constant or we call it as molal elevation constant so delta k delta tb is equal to kb into m small letter m representing molarity and mind it the kb that is the molal elevation constant or abelioscopic constant the unit is kelvin per kg per kelvin kg per mole so from this we can calculate m as w2 upon m2 divided by w1 upon 1000 kg means 1000 grams and when you put up the values here and simplify it you get equal to 1000 into w2 upon capital letter m2 into w1 w2 represents the weight of the solute and w1 represents the weight of the solvent and m2 is <coughs> molar mass of the solute delta tb from this we can simplify that delta tb is equal to kb into 1000 into w2 upon m2 into w1 and therefrom we can very easily find out the molecular weight m2 of the solute on simplification and this is the final expression this is important we can calculate m2 can be determined experimentally using the elevation in boiling point delta tb is known and kb if the value of kb is also known to assert a particular temperature for the solvent that's it okay